Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here, bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over real life tickets and how to do them. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. All right. It should be a short video, but today I want to go over real life tickets because I have done it in the past and I'm going to share my screen with you real quick. All right. Give me a second. Screen one. Yeah. So today we're going to go over um, real life tickets and I'm going to look at them right now. So Ticket number one, four emails to Kevin Apollinario. So let's see this ticket. So this was created by reporter KevTech, assignee KevTech is assigned to me, HR. I think HR assigned me this ticket. They want me to, they want me to um, basically forward the tickets to Kevin. So how do you do that on exchange? So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So I have admin center open right here. So if you go here, you go to admin center, click on that bad boy real quick. We're gonna to go to users, we're gonna to go to active users, right? We're gonna to go to exchange, close out of that. I'm gonna to go to Kevin, right? And then you have all these tabs right here. Send us on his behalf, mailbox. So we have mail flow right here. So they want they want me to put Raj email support to Kevin Parnard. So how do you do that? You click on Raj, right? The delegation right here, send us on his behalf, mailbox, uh, email forwarding. So there's no email forwarding right now. So you can click on uh, message email forwarding and turn that on. And you're going to type Kevin in here. It should show up, Kevin. And does he want to make a copy of it? Yes. And you hit save. Just give that a second. So it should take five minutes to appear. So now all emails that Raj gets, it gets forwarded to Kevin. So I could close that ticket. So I'm going to put in progress. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put resolve and I'm going to put email has been forward to Kevin Apollonario. All right. And I'm going to resolve. I'm going to resolve that and put done. And then I'm going to go to the next ticket. So that one is done. So the next one is block chat for brush. So this guy, apparently he left the firm now. So they want me to block chat for him on teams. So how do you do that? How do you block chat on Teams? So I'm actually on the dashboard right now. I'm going to go to the dashboard real quick. I'm right here. I'm on Microsoft Teams Admin Center. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Users. I'm going to go to Manage Users. I'm going to look for Barrage, right? I'm going to click on Barrage. And I'm going to go to Policies right here. And if you see Policies right here, I'm going to click on the pencil right here. I'm going to hit the edit button and messaging policy. So they want me to block messaging from him. So I, I have, I created a policy. It's called block. So everything is block on it. So you could do absolutely nothing on it. And I'm going to show you what that does. So I'm going to hit block. I'm going to hit apply. So now, now he cannot send anything. He can't do anything on messages. And if you want to find out how, how that works, how that, how the policies work, you click on policy packages, right? And there are different policy packages. You click on group packages right here. And actually, you can manage all your packages right here. There's different ones here. There's ones here set up for that. Um, I have policies in place right here. There's different ones. There's a lot of stuff here. So you could, you could play around with this. So there's call policy. There is messages policy. And I created this one called block. And it's for HR compliance reasons because they don't want him sending messages to people. So if you click on it, you get even more further information. So everything is off on it. So owners cannot delete messages, cannot send messages, cannot edit messages, cannot read messages, cannot chat, can't do anything. This is completely off. So they, they're not allowed to do anything. They're not allowed to do absolutely nothing. That's the policy I created today. So I, I added him to that policy. So I'm going to go back to Jira. And... I'm going to close that ticket. So I'm going to go back to progress. I'm going to go to in progress. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to resolve it. Um, and I'm going to put done. Um, message policy has been put in place. Messages on Teams is now blocked. So that he can't send messages anymore. So that ticket is done.
All right, I'm going to the next ticket. So it says create a uh, mailbox for HR. So that goes back to Exchange. So we're going to go back to Exchange again. And I am going to go to this one. I'm already on this one, right? And there's this there's this thing right here. Let's add a user. We're not going to add a user. Uh, we're going to go to active users. Uh, we're going to go to exchange. I'm going to open that up real quick. And add a share mailbox. So I'm going to make a share, share mailbox. I'm going to call it HR. HR, and I'm going to do the Captech domain, captechitsupport.com, and we're going to do human resources, and let's see if it lets me do it. So it doesn't like that for some reason. Let me go here. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do, since that didn't work for me, I'm going to go back go back here to the other tab, right? I'm going to add a new user. I'm going to call it human resources because from my understanding, you definitely need, uh, I'm going to call it HR. Um, and you definitely need a license for share mailboxes. So I'm going to do next. I'm going to assign a little license. I'm going to hit next. And hex, I'm going to finish. And I'm going to hit close. And we're going to go back to exchange, if I go to the other tab. Just give that a second. Some reason my internet is extremely slow right now. Okay. I'm going back to the other tab. Is HR there? HR should be there. All right. There's nothing set up for it. All right. It's fine. Looks like it's set up already. It has a license on it, but for some odd reason, it's not showing up over here. Let me refresh this. There we go. So why is this not working? All right, so convert, confirm. Yeah, as my, uh, my, my browser is glitching over here. So now it's a share mailbox. So if I refresh it again, it's a, it's a share mailbox now. I think I clicked the wrong one. I think I clicked the other one. It's fine. Do it again. There we go. So I'm, I clicked tech support. <laughs> it's okay. So yeah. So now it's a share mailbox. We should be good to go. HR should be able to use this mailbox. All right. I'm going to close out of this. So this is done. So I'm going to put in progress. Um, I'm not going to put anything there. Uh, put a resolve. Share mailbox created. And if I wanted to, I could add them to it. So I could add people to it. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back here. And if I go here and I click on it, right, I could actually add people to it. So I could do send as, read as. I could give people access to this mailbox if I want to. So, But for now, I'm going to leave it alone. Send as, read as, manage to open the mailbox and be here as the owner. I could add somebody to this. I could go here and... I could add Kevin to it, for example, and hit save, uh, confirm. Let's give that a second. So now he has access to that mailbox. So I'll wait for that. This is the last ticket. So it says create a SharePoint called HR. So HR is bothering me again. Like, Kev, I need a, I need a, a, a mailbox called HR. All right, I'll do that for you real quick. So I'm going to show you how I got into this because I have SharePoint open already. So what I did was I click on admin because I'm an admin on, on this on, on captechitsupport.com. I have my own admin account and everything. And I click SharePoint. That's what I that's literally what I did. And I you go to active sites, right? You go to create. 
Um, and from, from what, cause I'm, I'm doing a lot of SharePoint right now in my current job, if you guys don't know. So I'm doing a lot of SharePoint stuff on my job. So people be asking me for a team site every day, every day I get a, I get a call about it. So I click on team site. I'm going to call it HR. Um, it says the site is available so I could use it. The alias is good. Um, I'm going to put the owner as me. Um, and I'm going to hit okay. I'm going to hit next. And now it's trying to create the site. Now it says, who do you want to add to it? Like, which members do you want to add? I'm not going to add anyone. So it's here to finish. So now that site is created, right? So what you do is as a, as a IT person, right? You go into the, you could go into the site. Actually, you could open it as, as the person. So if I open it up real quick, it should let me, it should let me in the HR site. So now this allows you to uh, upload documents, view documents, share documents, maybe later and do all the other stuff. Now, if you want to make changes on it, if I go here, uh, wrong one, sorry. If I go here, it's right here. So you want to add a page, add an app, site information, site permission. So if you want to add somebody to it, you can. You can add an owner in here. So if you add members, add members to group. And I hit add members. And if I start typing somebody in here, right? For example, Raj, I could add him in here and I hit save. So now he's a member over here. He's not He's not an owner. He's a member. So I'll go back here. I'll go back to site permissions. And it give you the different access. It tells you what, what this what this does. So HR is the owner of this. HR can add people. That's one way of doing it. There's another way of doing it. Um, there's another way of doing it is, is by going into going to site information. And you you could actually you could actually email the site and everything to somebody, which I'm not gonna do. This is very complicated. If you see there's a lot of stuff here, it gets very, very complicated. I'm not gonna go over that today because you guys are gonna get confused if I go over that. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to the HR ticket. I'm going to hit in progress. And I'm going to close out that ticket. And I'm going to hit resolve. Uh, HR site has been created. And then what I'm going to do as well, too, I'm going to hit done, right? I'm going to hit, hit done. Uh, let me close out of my Discord. Um, and I'm going to go into Outlook for a second because I want to see if that mailbox HR got mounted to my Outlook because I just created it. So, so HR is right there. If you see HR, the group is right there. Um, HR is right there actually. There's a group for HR. So this is this is uh, this is not this is something else. So if I want to actually add HR, you could add HR. You could go into here. You go into account settings. You go into change. Uh, wrong one. Go into settings. Go into advance, you hit add, and see if HR shows up. It may it may freeze my whole computer. My computer might have a heart attack <laughs> because I'm trying to mount a drive or mount a, a mailbox. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna hit close. So give that a second. Like it's freezing right now because it's adding a mailbox and HR is right there. So now I have the HR mailbox, the share mailbox. So yeah, that's it. Let's stop sharing. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much it. There's a couple of tickets uh, that you would do in real life if you're working with users. Some of them, are, I need access to mailboxes. I need you to forward emails to somebody. I need you to create a site. I need you to block something on Teams because this guy should not be chatting on Teams because he's only a contractor. He's not a full-time employee. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful Saturday. All right, take care. Peace.